Well, hello, JP here with Brizzy, and today I'm going to show you how you can create this film strip gallery. In fact, it is so simple, it's within the gallery element, and you probably didn't even know it is there. Just a reminder that the gallery element is a pro element, only available for the pro users in both Brizzy WordPress and Brizzy Cloud. Now, what is the film strip gallery? Well, you have a big picture here, and then you have a strip here at the bottom showing you other images. And as the user clicks on it, it will show you those images. Awesome. Uh, these images are not the best high resolution, but you get the idea. You can put it also at the top, so you have different variations that you can work with. And you can even put them to the side, almost like a tab kind of feature that you can work with. When you do this, of course, just make sure that it also looks good on tab and mobile, or maybe only set it to desktop. Whoa, and what do we have here? Well, you have masks as well, if you want to go in a different route, something a little bit not the usual style. Let's see how you do that. I jump back into our famous little Brizzy Builder. I'm using WordPress, but like I told you earlier, this works 100% the same in Brizzy Cloud. Uh, not 100%. Of course, your image and media library is a little bit different, but how the element works will get you the same result. Let's clear this page. I go to the bottom right corner, clear layout, and let's start building it from scratch. In the sidebar on the left, we go to add elements and under media, you will find your gallery. Again, this is a pro feature. So if you're using the free version of Cloud or WordPress, you're going to see there's a little red dot. Let's click, hold and drag and drop it here. And this gives us the gallery element, which was updated recently. Go to the settings in the top right. And this is where you bring in the images. I'm going to upload eight images, but you will see why you should only use six. Maybe there are use cases that you can figure out how to do more. I would say you should use it in multipliers of six. You can maybe use 12, 18, etc. if you want to make something really big, but you won't have the real estate on your page to do that. Grab these beautiful looking people and then select, bring them in and great here. Oh, I love this new feature. There goes our images. And then we go to our gallery settings next to layout. We select the big image. And this is the big image. Not like anything I've shown you earlier, but you can see the images are there. While we are here at the top of the gallery settings, let's select items. And here you will see you have control over the columns. We start here and drag the slider all the way to six. And if you have fewer images than six, that's fine. What we will accomplish is the maximum amount of images that can go under the big picture. You can decide how you want to structure this, but for me, the film strip is usually just a single line. You could have two lines, but then you really need to work on the real estate and space as you want to squeeze them in. What I will do now is go back to the gallery settings. Um, yep, here, and delete two of these images. I'll select this one and delete this one. And I know this one over here is high resolution. So let me just drag that to the first position. So we can have a higher resolution image to look at. Now that we've done everything here in terms of the element setting, the gallery and the items, now we go work on the rest of this film strip. And you do that two ways. One is selecting the big picture and two is selecting the other smaller images. Select the big picture and you will see you have handles here. So you can change the size of this like you are used to with images, or you can click here on the configuration. You will see we have width and we have height. You can set it in pixels or in percentage. I will keep the width at 100%, but I'm going to reduce the height. Otherwise, we're going to have, again, that problem that things are not fitting onto the page. That's it for the big picture. Next, we go to the smaller little dudes. Click on any of them, select settings, and then you have height. This I'll just gauge, I'll drag the height down until I think I have something that looks like a film strip. And I can also increase the spacing if I need more, but I did like that five pixels. And the indent will determine how far away the film strip is from the big picture. You can also move these images around if you want them in different positions. And if you go to the image itself, you will see the styles appear over here. You can put the film strip at the bottom, at the top, to the left, and to the right. And you'll have to do some adjustments to make sure that it looks good if you are going for that setting, something like this. Drag it. There's the film strip. 
I can see a lot of application for it. I love a good gallery element, and I think the film strip does a great job with this. Remember, the big qualifier is that you always have to go check how this will look on tablet and make those adjustments on the various devices. In this case, maybe go here, and I will reduce the height a little bit more. On mobile, I may be inclined to actually put this as an invisible one if it really doesn't look good because you're going to have super amount of height restrictions here. Ah, uh, look at that. I can make it work. I can make it work. Uh, put that on something like 100 and see how that looks. So go ahead, give your website a little bit of an upgrade with the Pro Gallery element and put that one on a big picture. Until next time, remember to subscribe to YouTube, give us a like, and visit us at brizzy.io.